Colorado delegate Julia Hicks cast her vote to nominate Barack Obama before breakfast today, and she's already feeling goosebumps anticipating Barack Obama's Thursday night acceptance speech. He is the mountaintop. But I have a dream today. As a 14-year-old girl living in North Carolina, she said she rode a bus to Washington 45 years ago tomorrow to hear Martin Luther King's historic I Have a Dream speech. I've always been in places where history happens. My grandmother says, you know, I'm always in the right line. And this is a legacy that I leave to my grandkids. Barack Obama is going to be the first African-American president. I knew it would happen in my lifetime. Reverend James Peters of Denver was also at the March on Washington, and he will also see Obama tomorrow night. That day, August 28, 1963, hot, sunny day. I was very tired because we'd had a meeting at my church, the East End Baptist Church, which I pastored the night before. Then we caught the train and we rode and we came into Washington, but what a day. Hicks has no doubt that Obama will have no trouble living up to the mile-high expectations. Are you kidding me? He's in the Rocky Mountains. He's closer to God as it is, and there's nothing that he can't do. The expectations are high, and he's going to step a step higher.